Sweet Home Chicago. It has been an early start to the day, but I have made it. It's like 10.30. I'm walking to the CTA Orange Line to get ready to ride the best public transportation to the best city in the world. It's a race weekend, and none other than the Bank of America Chicago Marathon race weekend. Right, I am now in the streets of Chicago, just like Nick Miller. I think I need to go see the parks. I think I need to do some walking. I need to embrace this fullness. Look at that. It feels so good, so good to be in Chicago. I have to take one more phone call, uh, work phone call. It's the only thing I have to do today for work while I'm here because I'm only here till Sunday. But look at, I'm on Roosevelt. We see guardrails because this is the infamous like Roosevelt Hill. The last bit right before the finish line and you're just hurting. You're 25 and like three quarters of the miles in. And then you used to go this uphill, like probably like 50 feet, 100 feet maybe even. I don't know numbers, I'm too excited. Anyway, I got my coffee. It's cool out, it feels like fall. Look at this, wait for it, wait for it. What am I, I'm gonna walk this way. And I can see the, the lights and the, the towers. And I'm gonna hop on my work phone in a second here and take this call. And then I'm just gonna, I had another call later today planned, um, scheduled, but that just got moved because who wants a Friday call at 4 p.m.? So my boss moved it. So now I have the whole afternoon before it, our ACS yesterday. Look at this. Sarah and I truly are meant to live in both of these places, both of these homes. Homa House, the official headquarters of the Chicago Marathon and where we are having our ACS dinner tonight. Can't wait. I want to see if I can drop my bag off. It just doesn't get better than Chicago architecture, even on the inside. Even on the inside. Woo. Check it out. State Street, that great street. I'm on an adventure to find some food. I'm gonna go down the riverfront and see if there's any sandwich joints or anything open over there. <sighs> Been calling friends. Look at that street closures because this is the marathon. I'll try to get a better showing, but there's the, I can see the blue paint. Blue paint is the official track. Hey, Hamilton's back. I didn't know that. Back in Chicago. Lovely. <sighs> this is great. There it is, the blue official paint. For the, the marathon route. There'll be a little red carpet action on this bridge in just about 30 hours, 36 hours. It's a little dreary and drizzly. Go to the Wonderful, beautiful, magnificent Mag Mile. And I want to show you the uh, banners that are here for the Abbott World Marathon Majors, Bank of America, Chicago Marathon. And right there, hashtag one of a million because Sarah told me this the other day that during this Chicago Marathon, there will be a one million Chicago Marathon runner. How cool is that? Very cool way to promote the, the event, support all runners, all racers, because even if we aren't elites, even if some are faster than others, we are all running the same race. And I think the Hoka store wasn't open last time I was here, so I'm gonna check it out, see, see how this is looking. Remember when I said how beautiful Chicago was? That little side street, Russian Hubbard. Take another block down. Bada bing, bada boom. Got the water taxi here. Awesome. I'm a big hotel like aficionado and I love this. So this is Conrad Hilton. It has been and continues to be our responsibility to fill the earth with the light and warmth of hospitality. 
All right, I'm about to go to the ACS charity event dinner. Um, for anybody who has not been around long enough to know that we do most of our running events, Run Disney, Chicago Marathon, and a plethora of others, through the American Cancer Society. Cancer has affected our family deeply and intimately. We always do our fundraising through them and work with them for all of our different events. And so this is like the pre-race dinner with all the athletes and their family and supporters. And a little program we hear from researchers or people that are running on our team and then just kind of celebrate all the fundraising we have. I think we're almost at $1.5 million as a team fundraise for ACS just for Chicago Marathon. Pretty incredible stuff. So I'm gonna go upstairs and see our friends from ACS. All right, it's gonna start filling in. It's gonna start filling in. So it's great to see all of you just for my edification. Where are you all from? Give me an idea of where you're from. Where are you from? No better way to get ready for the marathon than an ACS Friday night dinner. And now, going on over to the bus stop, the bus to the north side. I'm staying at Sarah's cousin Emily's in our old neighborhood. So, when's the bus going to be here next? 17 minutes, oof. I love this city. I picked up a lift because the bus was taking too long. And I ended up talking to the lift driver the whole time. He wants to be, he used to be an engineer in the States. Uh, or before he lived in the States, he was an engineer. And now he's trying to become an analyst. So me and him were talking about just like my experience. And I was telling him how before I moved to Florida, I put in 75 applications a week for six months. And he's like, well, that's crazy. Like, it's just, I love the city of big shoulders. It is Expo Day. I'm gonna call Sarah and the boys back. We were FaceTiming and then our phone died. And I think I'm gonna mosey on over to uh, the Lakeshore Drive bus stop because it's gonna be a bit of a adventure for me to get over to Expo. I'm meeting some very wonderful friends that you guys know and love. I'm meeting Ben and Carolyn Earhart at the Expo so we can do the Expo together. And then I'm gonna pal around with them until I'm out of here. I'm staying with them tonight in a hotel. Um, Carolyn is running, so we'll be going to the start line together. Look at, it's wild. It's just like one of our favorite restaurants here. Very Raglan Road-esque. Look at this, just the gorgeous beauty of this city. And we get to run it tomorrow. Oh, this would be a good spot for me to show you the blue 
paint. So this is Broadway, which is actually part of the marathon. And you can see right there, that's the blue stripe. You know what, my friend told me that they kind of did it terribly this year. And that makes sense, yeah, like it didn't, it looks like it didn't like pop up and pop down. So good. It's almost just like a blue streak. But there it is, that's the official marker of the marathon route. Tomorrow, I'll be on this. I just got the official green light from Carolyn that they are leaving the suburbs to come into the city, which means I'm gonna take my little scone action here. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna head over to Lake, Lake Shore now and wait for the bus. Uh, we're at the strangely curious time of pre-marathon and we're down to hours, not even days, of making sure that we are properly hydrating and fueling ourselves for tomorrow. So I gotta make sure I gotta get some bottles of water, have earlier meals today, not have exotic meals today. All the things, you know? My old running route right here. Who remembers it? Running down Roscoe, go down here, the stairs, the underpass, to go on the other side of the lake front. I'll say it, my favorite running spot. I've ever lived in. That beautiful, beautiful lake over there. If I had a little bit more time, I'd be hopping over there just to see it, you know? Freaking love it. This is when it really starts to set in, guys. I'm starting to get a little bit of the jitters. The excitement. It's marathon time. <sighs> I am having some good memories of being back here with my family last year and the year before. I miss them, I wish they were here. But it feels good to be back at McCormick Place. The Abbott Health and Fitness Expo. All right, all right. Oh man, Bib is acquired. <gasps> Time to go into the expo and get our shirt. I, so I usually don't care for the posters, but this year I'm getting the poster because it's amazing. And Ben and Carolyn are here. Where's Nikki? <laughs> we brought all of our Disney swag. Swag, swag. And Notre Dame, I guess. All right, the a big old ACS team determination. All right, look at this beautiful view. Carolyn wanted to see the lake. She gets her energy Thank from the you. lake because we have some Michiganders here. Carolyn and Ben, first expo that was not run Disney. Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs sideways. Yes. Up. Success. <laughs> Success. Doing good for tomorrow? The CTA just drove past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More Chicago than that. Well, we basically do have them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I hate it. Oh, this is what I thought I was gonna sleep on. Something like this. All right. 
Uh, Carolyn and I, we're getting ourselves together. We're gonna bib up. We're gonna get our outfits out. Ben, are you mentally prepared to, to cheer us on? I am. It's a crowd of like three. We got you, Jenna, and our cousin Emily out in the field. I'm preparing myself. In the field. How do you feel? <laughs> Good, grand. You have I'm nervous. Accent? I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous. Okay. I'm nervous when you're talking in an Irish accent. But you know what that means? <laughs> you know what that means? What? It means you care. Yeah. Well, it's good because it's a Chicago freaking marathon, and we are going to be running these streets in hours. In hours. We'll be stumbling down those streets. Carolyn and Ben brought the goodies. They brought a Theragun and a Therabody compression pants situation. Blue nails for Chicago. Blue, blue, blue. Ben's getting our dinner order ready. Jenna is parking, I think, as we speak. And we're just gonna stretch it out, hydrate. I've got a Martin's mixture going. And uh, we're gonna soak up the Chicago energy at this beautiful view before we have a little sleepy sleep. Sleepover. Before we wake up and we party. Good morning. It's Chicago Marathon Day. My somebody feet Phil fans, I think this is the bridge you literally filmed and crossed. Carolyn, are you ready? It's marathon morning. She is well equipped with warm weather clothes. I am not. I'm cold. And I'm gonna cry. You're a Florida man. <laughs> the Florida man. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. <laughs> the Florida man. But it doesn't matter because today is marathon morning. I left Carolyn, she's in a different crowd, and she has a hospitality tent. I try to find a bathroom, get rid of my coffee, all that stuff. This is gonna be a fun day, guys. The crowd, my legs, my loved ones cheering, and most of all, the city is gonna make this a fun, fun day. Sometimes you're barely in the middle, the beginning of a race, and you have to stop to take a photo for your babies because they love bananas. Okay, back to running.
here we go, making the turn on Sheridan, the most northern point of the race. Check it out, it's James's favorite place. Yay! Home field advantage, now nah, baby, it feels good. Back to the old neighborhood. Ah, I love it, I love it. Beautiful soup of Chicago. Oh my gosh. It's a beautiful Sunday. I was thinking about it, and I think everything I just ran. I think I should run it again. I think I should double it up. about it? Only in Chicago you get a shot of fireball go, along buddy. the race yeah. route. We ran the furthest north and now we're the furthest west. Gonna make a turn back. And we gotta head to the parties on the south side. Here we go. On the UIC campus. We on the matter. When you realize you didn't eat enough on the Chicago Marathon, guess what the city provides? I got Chewy Bar handed to me just now. I got a handful of pretzels at A Station. I just got a little kid handing me his bag of goldfish. I hope it wasn't his, but he gave it up for me. Feeling good, we're almost a mile 20. The party's coming up, guys. The party's coming up. guys look at this all the love all the love for everybody the runners the spectators the volunteers just pure love I'm coming up on mile 23. You guys know it's a very special marker for me in marathons. Um, I have why I run. I run for Sarah and my boys and my babies, all of them. And I have my, my inspiration. My inspiration is Mr. Ryan. And you guys know what mile 23 means. And just a quick 5K left. And I, because Sarah and the boys couldn't come, and because I got injured like a week and a half ago, and I was not sure how today was going to go, I'm having the best marathon of my life today. And because they couldn't be here, I wanted to bring my own little bit of inspiration to keep me going if in case my hip was hurting it. I have Mr. Ryan's marathon medal with me. Getting me home on this final 5K. Hey, a mile 25 coming up. We got the wonderful, beautiful souls of the American Cancer Society up here. The famous turn at Roosevelt went uphill on the finish line. It has been a hell of a marathon. I planned on including some inspirational Peter Ramble here. Something about there being roughly 2,000 steps in a mile, and how the classic Brookhart Project shot of our feet alluded to the many journeys we have endured. 
but reflecting on crossing the finish line in Chicago, I've realized it's actually quite simple. Through triumphs, profound loss, and everything in between, we keep moving forward. And these feet have carried me through every extraordinary, ordinary day. The streets of Chicago, and probably some unexpected rest before this race, somehow made this my very best marathon ever. It inspired me to continue to run, continue to endure, continue to enjoy every step. Found my people. Yeah. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>